I live right up the road in Silver Lake, and uh, I walk by here on my way to work every morning. And I started three months ago counting the tents. And over the last three months, it went from about in, somewhere in the 90s. And the last time I counted it about a week ago, I stopped at 120. I have a barber. Um shop cut down, uh, uh, shut down because of COVID, and you know it's really taken a, a toll. I'm just ready for things to get back to normal. Well, I'm staying in my car by choice because the rent is unaffordable, it's ridiculous. I don't know what's going to happen. These people have jobs. They're working. I see them getting up, getting ready, getting in cars, going to work. They have cell phones. They just are homeless. You know, we've been here before. It was after the Great Depression. It was called Hoovervilles. And it was a result of the same type of trickle-down economics that failed then, and they've been failing for 40 years here now. For months, since late December, uh, we've been doing intensive outreach and earning the trust of the unhoused at Echo Park Lake. And uh, as of yesterday, uh, we've housed uh, 120 individuals, and even more today. My mission was always to find housing solutions before uh, we close the lake for the necessary repairs, and that's exactly what we're doing. Right now, it's what I need uh, to, 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 to be able to shower and also not, not um, ha come home to a place where all of my stuff might be stolen. I'm tremendously grateful. It's a big step up. It's really helping us out. Um, I don't know what to say other than that. Um, Echo Park Lake uh, had become a very dangerous uh, place. There have been assaults, people shot, knife attacks, uh, sexual assaults. It's imperative that we find solutions and uh, remove the dangers that people who are experiencing homelessness uh, face every day, almost every moment. We are housing people, we're not displacing them. There's no sweep, there's no criminalizing people there. They have a place to go and we are, we are taking them to a safe environment and getting them, uh, helping put them on a path to wellness. People are demanding that we house people and somehow they feel they were told that we're not, but we are. You know, rooms are great, but we've lost our social safety net in this country. Income inequality is real. I like to be able to provide for my lady, you know, and I like to be able to send money back home to my dad, you know, and, uh, and I haven't been able to do anything like that.